My home is Louisiana, a true melting pot of life, where past generations have combined culture and traditions for centuries. Got to do everything. <laughs> I am Chef Philippe Parola, and I am in a mission to help preserving natural habitat for native wildlife by promoting the many qualities of eating invasive species by bringing a natural source of proteins on your dining table. So this is natural protein, just keep that in mind. I say, if you can't beat them, eat them. This is a blind river in southeastern Louisiana, where the subtropical climate is also the perfect new home for most invasive species in North America. Today, I'm in a search of an unwelcome new guest, the apple snail. Here's an apple snail, and they will lay this little pocket of eggs. They eat the vegetation again, and they are everywhere, as you can see. I grew up in the 60s, and I uh, grew up in France. And uh, back in those days, we don't have no grocery stores every corner of the street. We have to go in the woods, in the pond, in the river, uh, catch, hunt, trap, whatever we could to provide food on the table. See how much about the trees? They're definitely everywhere. You know, I came in Louisiana in the early 80s, and uh, the abundance of wildlife here, it's incredible. This is uh, what they call the sportsman paradise, um, and also the perfect climate for invasive species. We got them all here in Louisiana. Today, we, for the first time in Louisiana, went out there and harvest apple snail. I like the way they close up when you catch them. This is too small. Oh Lord, look at this one. The apple snail is the largest freshwater snail and will eat his way through aquatic vegetation leaving a disastrous trail of natural habitat devastation in rivers, ponds, and lakes. Apple snails are also a delicacy in many countries around the world, with a taste similar to the delicious sea snail called conch. These are the freshwater apple snail, and they can get actually twice bigger than this. What they do is they eat the vegetation. And when the vegetation is gone, then the rest of the wildlife, aquatic life, died. So it's an extremely dangerous and busy species. In 2006, the first apple snail was found in Louisiana. Today, they can be found in over 30 Louisiana parishes and are highly adaptable to our subtropical climate. I often wonder the number of people navigating this beautiful blind river on a daily basis and don't even realize there is an abundance of those apple snails right there under their nose. That could be food on the table. Oh, that's gonna be a good picture. You ready? This way. I spent less than 30 minutes collecting those snails. Just imagine how many one could harvest in the entire day. For regulation purposes, it is important to make sure that the snails are dead before you bring them home. Putting salt on the snail will ensure them to be dead, so now they would be ready to transport them home. Also, salt will remove slime and kill bacteria, so 
so they'll be ready to prepare safely. First step again, salt. Release the slime, kill bacteria, as you can imagine, and then after that we're going to boil them, and then we'll go to the process when we're going to be in the kitchen, okay? It's very safe to eat. Can't beat them, eat them. It really is about showing folks how to harvest invasive species, which is pretty easy, and most importantly, how to cook them. Stop the waste. Bring those food on the table. This is what Can't Beat Them, Eat Them is all about. Now, what we're gonna do while those snails are cooling off, we're gonna put the chicken broth right here into the pot. And we're gonna bring it to a boil. We're gonna cook it a second time. There won't be no bacteria alive when we're done. <laughs> You can remove the shell. You see how it is? You got the muscle here, and this is what the, 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 the thing you don't want is the digestive system. So you clean that up, and this is what, what the edible part is, right here. Is this beautiful muscle right here. You know, you take it out of the wall, and you bring it as a food on the table. Doing that makes sense. It, it, it's so transparent and you got to ask yourself this question when is the last time you had a natural protein on your dining table that's a question you need to ask yourself when was the last time think hard long 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 time ago so this is natural protein just keep that in mind See that? Don't ever brown your garlic. All right, now we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna put those little snail. I truly believe that my children and my grandchildren and future generation is gonna classify our era, the most wasteful era of modern history. What I believe is that probably in the next, next 10, 15 years, we're gonna face a real shortage of food. We have perfect resources. I'm gonna try one. So here's a little idea for your Christmas party. You wanna save the, the ecosystem? Get a little, a little hors d'oeuvre like that. Now you can put that over rice, put mix cheese, it up with you pasta. Can you, can, you can put some cheese on top. You, you, anything you want as long as it's good, all right? all right? So you try that out. It's a little hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. From the uh, Invisive Apple Snail to the Gourmet Apple Snail. Here you go, an idea for your Christmas parties. Save the ecosystem. Can't beat them, eat them. When I moved here in the United States, uh, I understand that we are very spoiled here, for sure. Over the years, I understood that and we have everything we want. But now, with the pandemic, you know, rising and, and uh, the, the food supply diminishing, everything on the price range is going up and up and up. Future generation will judge our era as the most wasteful era in modern human history. 
We must proactively act now to stop this waste by turning the negative to positive. Harvesting invasive species and turn it to food for the needy is a clear solution. We spending our policy makers will spend more money in trying to eradicate a proper natural source of protein classified as invasive species. By educating people in catching, cleaning and cooking invasive species, together we can control their population and therefore their imminent threat and destruction to wildlife natural habitat. I am Chef Philippe Perola. My solution is simple. Can't beat them, eat them. <laughs>